Hello, everyone. How are you all? I haven't really been on to just be on, I guess. And I have a day to myself, so I figured why not get on and just say hello and and I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's I've been working three jobs. I I went back to home health and I'm working only one day a week at the advance and I'm didn't doing massages. Um, I really love doing the massages, but I, I don't know, I just, I love home health too, and that's where my heart has always been. I love cooking, and I don't mind cleaning, and I have two amazing clients that are really lovely, and I enjoy their company, and they enjoy me, um, You know, it's hard for me to stay idle. I haven't been dating. Not that I don't want to, it's just I don't have time. But I guess if I find the right guy, I will make time for him. But right now, they're not crossing my path, so I'm assuming they're not around. So I'm not going to rush it. I'm in no hurry. I want the right guy, not the wrong guy. I don't need a warm body. I want the right body. I want the right Mr. Right. So um, I am excited. Um, in July, I'm going to Key West. My friend is taking me along with her. We were going to drive and then there were two people that highly recommended that we fly in. So we found some cheap flights. So we are going to Florida. So that's going to be fun. I have been to Florida, but I've only been to Orlando and um, Sanibel Island. So I'm really excited about going to Florida. Um, that's in July. We're leaving the 11th and coming back on the 18th. So if you're in the Key West and you see me, yay, come and say hello. Um, I heard there's a nudist beach there. I really want to go check it out. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see how far it is. Um, we're spending the week there. Um, my friend that I'm going with, she's got a friend getting married. Her best friend that they went to kindergarten with. And they're getting married over there, and I think that's really exciting. Um, her fiancé is in a band, so he plays a lot at some of the, it's called the Blue Marlin. So we'll be there. I think that's where the wedding is as well. But it's the Blue Marlin in Key West. It will be freaking amazing. Like I said, I've never been there, and I love the water. Um the woman I'm going with hates flying, so it ought to be interesting. So I told her I'll help her keep her breathing and keep her mind distracted that we're flying. We can take games and have fun. And we're not going to drive because we were told that it's very congested. It's better to just either do a the free shuttles that they have around or... Um, do a motorbike, which I don't think we're going to do the motorbikes. I think we're just going to do the free shuttles. So it should be interesting. I'm excited. Um, I'm looking forward to 2024. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be the most amazing year of everyone's lives. And I will do my best to always keep you guys informed and updated. And especially when I start dating again. Like, like I said, there's just nobody that's crossed my path, so, um, and it's, I guess it's a little difficult now that I really don't get out. Um, I would like to advance because I got more exposed to people, but, um, I got tired of being treated like a kid and I drive and they didn't just want to give me like, uh, the, whatever came up because we, now we had to act like we were kids and who are, there's usually four to five drivers and they would always give it to me because I'm always very ambitious. I love driving. I'll take anybody. I don't care. But now they want us in order and who come back first or who's this, that, and the other. And I'm just like, no, uh, I'm not dealing with that. So Sundays I don't have to deal with that. I'm usually the only driver and I do whatever. So I enjoy that. So, um, but I enjoy home care even more. So, uh, I get the best of both worlds. I get to cook. I get to clean. I help them organize. I take care of them. Sometimes I have to have to help have to help them bathe, help them assist them in walking, 
take them to their appointments. But these clients, I don't really do that since they're really on the weekend. I'm just, I'm not their main um, caregiver. I Well, I am, but I'm not, if that makes sense. The They only get like 12 hours, so I just literally help with their cleaning because that's what they're really needing help with. They do their own cooking. So, which is fine. It doesn't bother me. But um, I'm hoping my massage people will pick back up after the holidays and realize they've been wearing themselves out and will come in. And I've been massaging at the house, so that's really nice. And I got to use my rocks or my stones. If you never had a massage with hot stones, that's amazing. I love it. I even have the ones that go in between your toes and you can hold them in, in your hands. Uh, but I have thought I'm going to do 45 for a regular massage. And then if you pay 120 you get four massages. The fourth one is actually free, which I thought was an amazing deal. That should get people on my table. I got my cards um, that have that on there. Um, if you're in Indianapolis, if you're in the Indianapolis area, look me up. Or text me or on here and tell me, hey, I'm in the area. I would love to have a massage. I live on the... South, southwest side, and I live close to the Greenwood Mall, but, um, again, I, I massage from my home, and I'm really enjoying it. I do offer going to your home, but I'm not going to do that during the winter hours. I mean, once it gets spring again, I will start offering that really way more, but I really don't want to take my table. I'd rather for them to come to me. So that's one of my big things. How I'm supposed to stand out because I will also come to you, but you don't get the full benefit. It'd be great if they already had a table and a room already set up where I could give them a massage. Because when you come to my home, you get the aromatherapy. Um, I have hot stones. And you just get that tranquility, that calmness. And, you know, you could relax and. I mean, I know most people relax more in their homes, and I do understand that. Be right back. But yeah, if you're ever in the area, here is my information. This is my new card. I don't know how that's going to turn out. It doesn't look very clear. But yeah, I got the, the loyalty card on the back where, like I said, you pay the 120 and you'll be able to... Um, be able to get four massages, one for each week, and you have to use the fourth one within the month, so, or you lose it. And I don't care if you want to share it with somebody, that's fine, but you just got to tell me and give me the information ahead. And you have to call and make an appointment because um, you can't just show up because I'm not always here. It's better to call me, set up the appointment for the best day for you. Um, I only work in the evenings because I only, am only free in the evenings. I'm on right now. It's Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday is where I have available right now. So, and that's because I have clients. My two home health clients. I'm, I'm and then Sundays I don't do anybody because I work at uh, advance in the morning, and then in the evening I have my sister's dinner. So, and that's every Sunday. Uh, but if you ever have an emergency and you need to get in because you like really are hurting, I can, I do my best to try to fit you in somewhere, somehow. But um, I usually have a girl that always has a tense back or neck is what it is, neck. And so she comes in and just gets that area. So, and if, if it's just one little area, it's only $25. So, that's just to let you know. But massage is very beneficial. It doesn't just relax you. It re helps regenerate tissue. Um, it helps uh, restart. Um, how do you say it? It helps rejuvenate your tissues, your bone, uh, your fascia. That's why it's really essential for you to drink water. Because the more your hydrated the fascia which is directly right underneath your skin it's between your skin and your muscle if you've ever taken any kind of a 
animal and that little white tissue that's there, that's fascia. We also have fascia. That's what helps our, our skin glide and um, it's well lubricated. The, the more you drink water, the more lubricated it is and the more it functions like it's supposed to. And the touch of the person massaging you um, helps you 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 retain their energy and in, in, in you're giving back to them unless you're one of those people who are just closed off which I try not to work on those people because I want you to give to me as much as I'm giving to you energy is a really a key player here in massage and most people just think oh it's just to relax no when you get a massage regularly you're body will thank you because you won't get as much as those aches and pains because my my massage also includes stretch. I stretch your neck, I stretch your arms, I stretch your legs. Um, everyone that has gotten on my table truly appreciates the stretch in my in my massage and the, I work with the meridians of the body. Not most of your massagists do Swedish massage and they're just doing it to just relax you. I'm literally working with your body to help reset the tissue, help it start regenerating. It helps tone your body. I give you a workout just by working on you. And that's what a lot of women appreciate as well. Um, I, um, I love my massage because it teaches me how to help you because every, all my techniques that I have, I go by what your body asks for. I work on the areas that really need it, and then I, I uh, move the lymph. My it also includes lymph drainage. It, um, I do balance work. Which if if you have any knee issues, back issues, neck issues, I can get all that back into alignment. Um, my um, my technique is called Fremer. If you ever do any research, look up Teresa Fremer. She's from Canada. And she loved massage as well. And she never understood why it helped so many people. So she didn't charge for the first, I think, like five or ten years. I don't remember. I'd have to get her book out and read it to you one day. I might do that. Because her technique, she knew it worked. She just didn't understand why. And the reason she finally figured it out is because she started working in a meat, um, a butcher, a butcher. And when she pulled the skin away and she saw that white tissue, that's why she knew it regenerated. She knew we were made just like the animals are made. And that's when she figured it out. The more lubricated that it was and the more you manipulate it, the more um, it activates healing. And the more you tell your client to breathe, it breathe through your nose while they're getting um, the massage, it helps relax them. It also brings the oxygen to the area that the, she's, that the massage person is working on. Um, I can't call myself a massage therapist because I can't. I cannot pass the license exam, so I can only call myself a muscle therapist. That's what I call myself. I, I work on the muscles. I, I regenerate the tissue that helps you feel better and helps you. When you get on a massage person's table and you are feeling your back hurts, your legs hurt, your hips hurt, your knees hurt, you should get off there feeling regener regenerated. I'm sorry, I cannot speak but you really should be feeling refreshed, like a new person. And, you know, every person that gets on my table that is hurting and who was literally um, having hip issues or knee issues or back issues or neck, they get off my table and they are amazed about how well they feel. Like their pains are gone because I listen, I listen to the body and I can manipulate the body into being back into perfect alignment and that's why I love what I do when it becomes massage because I want to see you well I want to see you get off my table and be like wow like I can't even believe you are capable of aligning my body to where I feel well like I 
I, I love the chiropractor, and the chiropractors are amazing. Like, I miss going to the chiropractor. Once I get financially fit, I will always go to the chiropractor. But I feel like you should go to the chiropractor and then come see me because I'm going to also work that tissue to regenerate and more, uh, put it in more, um, not really, it's going to be more balanced. You're going to feel more. Uh, relaxed and you're going to allow your stresses to just roll off of you and I mean benefits of both of us because he manipulates the he's not really manipulating your bones he's manipulating the tissue which is the muscle like I do because that's what, how I get you back into the thing I'm manipulating the tissue but he thinks he's because he hears all the pops it wouldn't pop without the muscles because there's no structure without the tendons and the um joints and the muscles being um because they're all your muscles are adjoined to each muscles <coughs> i'm sorry you're not muscles <coughs> excuse me your muscles are attached to each bone and without those attachments you don't get that crack people i mean chiropractors think that they thought of these techniques which actually they got their techniques from massage therapist because we manipulated the body first before they even started and then they actually took our techniques and named them something else i mean but i in harmony if you really want your body to work well stretch adjustments and massage are the three best things for your body you won't need a doctor if you ad address your emotions let them and release them if you eat well, you get socialized, if you exercise, and you address, you cannot bottle up your pain. You have to literally, that's why your you, you, you get aches and pains because your body's starving from nutrients. You get constant pain because now you, you, whatever emotions that you are ignoring, you're storing in that, in that area of the body that is hurting. And <clears throat> the more, um, spiritually balanced you are and more you address your emotions and your concerns and your physical demeanor, like you don't grint your teeth, you don't tense up, you don't, you don't allow those things to hold you in prison. You let them and set them free. That's how you heal yourself. You know, we were so programmed negatively that crying made you sign a weakness. No, it does not. It literally releases you. God created tears to release your pain, to express your emotions, to be able to work through what what pain you are going through and a lot of the pe people don't understand the more you release that self the more you forgive the more you're at peace but the more you hold on to that the more it, it erupts your peace so releasing and expressing teaches people how to love you how to appreciate you, how to appreciate yourself, how to love yourself, and most important, keep yourself in ultimate health. Because the more you release, the more you address, the more you accept, the more you forgive, and the more you think the lessons that you have learned, the more you grow, <clears throat> the more you appreciate what you have learned. And, you know, learn the lesson. Please learn the lesson that that pain has given you and thank it and then release it. You know, I sage every week, sometimes every day, depending on how I'm feeling, especially during a full moon, I get very emotional, very. And um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just sometimes that the universe wants me to address things and I something I always thought I already addressed, but evidently I didn't, I may have addressed it, but I didn't really release it. So it brings it up. Don't get upset with yourself. Just address it. You need to cry it out, cry it out. 
you know, missing loved ones is really hard, especially during the holidays. And I know all of us have loved ones that we miss. <clears throat> I've been missing my mom and dad very much, especially at Christmas time. My mom loved Christmas. My dad loved Christmas. You know, I didn't really spend a lot of time with my father at Christmas time because I really had my own family, but I did my best to spend at least an hour with him. And then, you know, I, but I just, I, I feel like I got cheated. He, I lost him at 20, I think I was 27. I think I was 27 when he, he crossed over. So, um, and he was an alcoholic. So it was very hard for me to be around him when he drank and he usually drank if he wasn't working. So, um, you, when somebody comes to you that you love, you send them love. You can cry a little if you need to cry, but you send them love and you let them know that I, I'm thinking of you and I feel of you and you let those emotions comfort you. That's how you heal. You don't allow your emotions or your memories to hold you in prison. You know, they're meant for to help you healing. <clears throat> Don't be ashamed to cry. Crying is a part of healing. And when you cry, that gives your, your heart healing. Because literally in your tears, your sorrow is released. Your pain is released. If you do the research, it shows that tears are very um, impactful with releasing I'm screaming, I mean, anger, you know, just remember to breathe, I mean, breathing releases, breathing helps give your brain oxygen and allows you to refocus, to recenter, to reset, you know, to enjoy releasing the pain, I don't hold on to any pain anymore, like, I know if I hold on to it, it hurts me more than helps me, so just release it. Yeah, I know in the moment it may be hard, but it does take time to be able to adjust yourself into forgiving. If you can't forgive the other person, at least forgive yourself. You know, especially when you lose a loved one. I, I've talked about it in the past. I was really upset with my father when he died because I needed him. I, I begged him to stop drinking. I begged him to stop drinking and driving. And... <clears throat> It's when somebody is your rock, when somebody is like the very purpose of your existence, because my, I mean, without my father, I wouldn't be here. My father's blood runs through my veins and I know it and I, I miss him. I love him very much. I miss my mother. I, I'm, I was upset with her as well. I wanted her to be able to heal herself and want to live for herself. I wanted her to see the beauty within herself. I wanted her to want to learn how to take care of herself and thrive, you know, and nothing I ever did ever helped her. And it really hurt because it's like, why, why couldn't she get out of her own way? Why couldn't she get out of her pain? <coughs> and it's because she didn't know how. And in reality, she didn't want to. She lived in that pain as a comfort you got to get out of that comfort zone. Pain is not peace. You're not, pain is not peace. Peace comes from releasing all the pain that you've been through. Peace is the joy in knowing that, yes, I went through a traumatic experience, but I'm, I made it out of it. And I'm, I'm alive, and I've, I pushed through it, and I'm still going, and I didn't give up. Those who don't give up, they're still here. And I'm proud of you for not giving up. And you need to tell yourself that I'm proud of you for not giving up. I mean, I have, I'm 45 years old and I have wanted to give up and I beg God to just take me and bring me home. You know, it's a, it's hard and I'm tired and I'm sick of being alone and I'm sick of just making it. I want to thrive and strive and do my best. And that's what I've been doing since I, <laughs> since I was 26, I've been doing what I need to do to survive. And I'm tired. I was tired of being in survivor mode. I really enjoy what I do now. I love 
massaging. I love being a cam companion care or home health aide, whatever you want to call me. <clears throat> I was, I've been a nurse since I was 26 and I love it and I will always love it. I hate that you can't get people out of the negative thinking that they need a doctor. You don't need a doctor. Your body will heal if you give it the right nutrients, water, love. You must love yourself. Love and appreciate who you are. Appreciate what you do for yourself because nobody at the end of the day is there for you but you. And I, I need people to realize loving yourself is essential in the healing. Loving yourself is essential in healing. And the more you realize that, the more peace you will come into. Like, I'm so at peace. I love who I am. I love my body. Yes, I have fat rolls. I don't care. They're going to go away when they're ready. And I still eat bad things. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. But I want you to love yourself. Practice every day loving yourself, loving how you do your work, how you get up in the when you don't feel like getting up. Love and appreciate that you can get up and go to work. Love and appreciate your legs working and your hands working and your eyes working and your ears working. Love and appreciate everything about yourself. Because in that moment, if you've ever not been able to do something, like I've not, I have not been able to walk. I have had um, <clears throat> not been able to work. I've not been able to just be around friends or be around people, period. I know what that feels like. So now that I'm able to and I'm centered, I love being able to have a functional body, a functional mind, a functional job that I enjoy and it just doesn't feel like work to me. Yes, I get tired and yes, I get exhausted, but it's a good exhaustion. You know, it's, I loving what I'm doing. So I appreciate what I'm doing and I'm making money at it. Not the best money, but it's, I'm making money. So that's all that matters. I can take care of myself <clears throat> and that's what's important. That's what's meaningful in the, this world. If you're going to live in the matrix, at least do something that you love. Stop doing what you hate. And I'm I'm in the matrix, but I love everything I do. And I know eventually I will be able to step out of the matrix because I will be able to do what I really want to do by traveling and doing massage. You know, I know I can also travel and do companion care. I'm just, I would... I don't know. I'd rather travel and do massage because I can do what I want and do as many as I want. And that's what I'm focusing on. Literally, I'm focused on traveling and massage. I still got my grandbaby. He's only two. so. Um, but I'm loving him as well. I love being able to be right here with him and watch him grow up and help teach him and guide him. And, you know, people got to remember, it's better to be around family that you love Find that family that you love. If you have to make your family, make them. But stay away from the ones that are toxic because they will bring you down. I stay away from toxic people. I stay away from people who think they need to do drugs and they think they need to drink all the time. They think they need to complain all the time. I'm That's not me. That's not who I am. Either you can let it go and move on <clears throat> or don't. But you're not going to bring me down. Sorry. I bring me down. Because I'm happy. I'm very blessed. Um, there are a lot of people I miss. I miss my grand. I miss my grandmother. I miss my grandparents. I miss my nephews. They're choosing to be out of our lives. I don't know why. You know, I know we're not perfect. I know we're not wealthy like their parent, their family, or his father is. But they're not wealthy either. They're just, I guess, blue, blue colored I don't know what the heck you call them but regardless I don't know how you could shut people out of your life that were always there for you but I'm not I'm not gonna chase after anybody either you want me in your life or you don't I have a goddaughter I really miss I used to spend a lot of time with her but she's very upset with me because I moved away but I needed to move where I felt 
for a new life. I wanted to be closer to my son. I wanted to be closer to what I was familiar with. Um, I used to, I always hated Anderson. I've never, I never felt like it was home. I mean, I don't feel like Greenwood is home or Indianapolis, whatever this is. I don't feel like it's home either because I know I'm meant to be in the country. I know I'm meant to be surrounded by woods and nature and I want a great big water a pond. I'm 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 going to have all that and I'm going to have an outside shower. I'm going to have me an outside kitchen. I'm going to live in my tiny houses and I'm going to have them all over my land so people can come and stay there. That's the life I'm I'm focusing on. That's where I'm going to be. If I leave a bunch of people behind, I just leave everybody behind because I know I'm going to be happy and I would rather be around spiritual people who understand the importance of being grounded in nature. And that's the life I'm going to have. Well, I don't want to take a bunch of your time. I just want to hop on and say hello. I recorded um, a little video for my grandson. Um, my favorite saying to my grandkids and my son is, I love you more than all the stars and sand in the universe. And I cannot tell you where I found that because I thought it was a Bible verse, but it is not. I have read it somewhere, and I've tried to figure out where I have read it, but I have no idea. But it is the best thing I've in I have embraced since I was 20 in, in my, I think he was, I was 26. I'm going to say 26, 25, 26. And I've been telling my son ever since. And I want to make a little frame and I'm hoping to make a little coin for my son for his birthday and have that done. I want to get done. I have a goddaughter. I would like to have that done for too as well. Uh, I did make a plaque for my grandson and I got little teddy bears with the saying in it for my grandson and my goddaughter's daughter and that's something that the, I hope they'll cherish for the rest of their life but I made a video for my grandson with me saying Zayden Nana loves you more than all the stars and sand in the universe and I'm gonna put this on this little uh digital frame that I have so he'll always have it so if anything ever happens to me not only will my son have it he'll have it and <clears throat> they can always cherish it and I love you all and mwah, I thank you guys for f watching and if you will, please follow me. If not, that's okay. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And I do love you all. But thank you for your time.